Hello friends, and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal, and in today's video, I am going to be putting together a story about my daughter's sixth birthday using the Allie Edwards February-themed Stories by the Month kit for 2021. So for today's project, I had previously planned to use some of the product that you see here in front of you. I do have a project planning process uh, showing you how I decided what products to use, and I will make sure to link that up at the top for you in case you're interested in seeing that process. Uh, but for today, my plan is very pretty simple. It's just to lightly embellish a few things here and there. I've got um, this card that says thoughts about right now that I'm actually going to cut apart and use it with this journaling page just to give it a little bit of oomph on there. And then basically that's going to be it. So I will put you on fast forward just while I get these things assembled. Then we will slow down. I will talk to you guys about the journaling that I added on today's spread. And then that will be it for today. So let's go ahead and get started. So this project is going to come together really quickly here today. The first thing I'm going to do is take this four by six card. I'm going to cut it in half so that I have two three by fours. The other three by four I'm just going to set inside with all of my Project Life product that I had set aside using this kit. And then I'm going to take the portion that's got the sentiment on it. I cut off most of the, of the white that was underneath it, just leaving the just right underneath the sentiment and then I went ahead and adhered that to the top of this card. So then I can flip it around, trim that part off, and now this gives me that color up at the top plus the sentiment to give this a little bit of a title there on this journaling card as well. Then I just added some adhesive, did the same thing to the bottom. I really like when cards have the anchors on the top and on the bottom with the pattern like that. I just feel like it helps to ground all of that text, especially when there's a lot of text like there is on that card right there. So then I went ahead, pulled over the rest of my things here. I added the little chipboard into the middle of the card. The chipboard says XOXO. I like the way that the pinks play with the pinks and it just looks really good. And then I have these five uh, cardstock circle stickers. Three of them are hearts in three different colors, and then two of them are sentiments. Um, I can't remember what they say at this moment. Maybe I can see if I look really carefully here. I don't know. I can't really tell. Mm, I can't really tell. Sweet always sweet. That's what it says. Always sweet. So I played around with a couple of different placements on that four by six photo, but I didn't really like how any of it was looking. Then on the three by eight photo, there's that large amount of space at the top from where the sky was. So I decided to actually take those stickers and put them on the top of the page, kind of like a banner there at the top. I will end up putting the hearts on in the middle and then on the two sides, and then I will put the sentiments uh, in the middle of those so that it it the sentiment says always sweet. And I really like the way that this turns out. I think it's a cute, it's like another title for this for this spread or a subtitle of sorts. So then I can just turn this over, trim off the excess of those stickers, and then this spread is going to be done. So I can just pull over my book, stick everything in the pockets, and then we will pick back up after I have everything in the book and ready to go. All right, friends, that finishes today's spread. So we've got the pockets over here with... Um, the just the filler cards and a photo of my two kids looking at the camel. I love this picture of my daughter and actually the six was from the wood veneer pack that I got from December Daily in 2019. Um, I've, I did the same thing last year where I had her hold the five from the same pack. I just love the size of them. Then for the journaling, what this is is starting I believe I started it last year. It might have been the year before that. I have a list of questions. I have, I think there's 19 of them, questions that I ask my kids every year on their birthday. Now, I say kids, but Isabella is the only one who's actually old enough to answer the questions. Hopefully, by the time Jonah turns three this fall, this coming fall, he'll be old enough to start in that as well. So the 19 questions that I ask are, what is your name? How old are you? How old is mommy? How old is daddy? Favorite color? Favorite food? Favorite song? Favorite animal? What makes you happy? Favorite place to go? 
Uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? What does mommy do all day? What does daddy do all day? What are you scared of? Where does money come from? Where do you live? Where do you come from? Who loves you? Um, and then it's just so interesting to see the differences in the answers year to year. Uh, some things that she's starting to get a better grasp on than others. Um, like this year, she said that money came from the bank. And I was like, wow. Last year, she just told me um, her answer was, uh, that's a good question because she didn't know. <laughs> um uh, I don't know. It's just, it's a fun way to document the changes in their lives from year to year to year to year. So I love including that. And I'm very happy that we uh, were able to get those questions answered on her birthday again this year. You know what I should have done? The only thing I didn't do, I'll probably put it, you know, let's just do it right now because I'm going to forget. So I'm going to grab out this journaling card and add, add her, add the birthday on there because um, even though I know that she's six and I know this would have been, you know, uh, January 6th, I could very easily forget what year it is when we're looking at this. So let's just stamp it so that we know for sure what the day and year was when she answered all those questions. So January 6th, 2021. Get all that back over there. Okay, so that is going to be that. I always forget to date these things, so I'm glad I glad I remembered that. Um, all right, so that is my first story with this kit. I really, 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 really love the colors and the sentiments in this one. Really love it. Big love for this kit. So I'm I'm glad to have gotten this story told. Um, if you enjoyed this process video, I would love a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see all of the future crafty videos I have coming your way. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know and tell me if you do you if you have children, do you have them answer questions on their birthday as well? And if you do, what is your favorite question that you ask? I think my favorite question is, what do mommy and daddy do all day? I love the answers to those questions. I will be back again, um, gosh, later this week with a few more process videos for you. In the meantime, I hope that you guys have a fantastic week and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye now.